All right, Tara, thank you. Attorney General Letitia James says she will seek justice for nursing home residents and their families who were allegedly abused by Centers Healthcare. That includes the Buffalo Center on Delaware Avenue. She announced a lawsuit yesterday against the nursing homes for violating public health laws and pocketing taxpayer money during COVID. To talk more about this, we are joined by attorney John Daly with Daly and Marino. John, thank you so much for talking with us this afternoon. You're welcome. Good to be with you. Likewise. So this is a lengthy 316-page lawsuit. John, your firm specializes in nursing home abuse and neglect. What is your reaction to this litigation? Well, we're very happy that finally the Attorney General has brought a case like this to expose really the wanton greed at some of these privately owned nursing homes and nursing home centers. The, the, the Attorney General has finally realized that they put profits before people too often, uh, often at the expense of these vulnerable nursing home residents. And this lawsuit is going to expose some of the things that we've seen for years in our private lawsuits against these facilities. Um, John, just for the viewers, have you ever represented anyone at this specific nursing home on Delaware that we're talking about in this litigation? I have not represented anyone against uh, the nursing home in Erie County, but the other three nursing homes owned by this company, I have represented families and currently represent families in lawsuits against them for violations of the public health law, neglect, and in serious injuries against these elderly folks. Okay. Um, John, give us a little background. What are some of the state and federal laws in place to protect nursing home residents? You know, the interesting thing is in New York State, we have wonderful laws to protect the elderly in nursing homes. The problem is with the enforcement of those laws. And while this is a great lawsuit and it's going to expose a lot of wrongdoing, what we really need is the De Department of Health to step it up and to enforce the laws that we have. Uh, these laws are designed to protect elderly nursing home residents, to ensure that they get adequate care, proper treatment, and are treated as human beings. So they're home and they deserve to be tra treated with respect and, and to keep their dignity. Absolutely. Our News 4 Investigates team has done so many stories about nursing homes in this area. Can you speak a little bit about nursing homes in the western New York area that you've seen? Um, just what are we, you know, dealing with here in the western New York area and what sort of things should families go through in order to make sure they're putting their loved one in a good location? Now, unfortunately, it's uh, a problem that's rampant throughout the state, not only Western New York, but downstate as well. And really, the key is the understaffing. And these problems really were occurring before COVID. COVID just sort of uncovered some of the gross understaffing at these facilities. And when you have uh, private owners more interested in lining their pockets than hiring adequate staff so that there's enough people to feed, bathe, and toilet these residents, you often end up with these bad results. You can check the Medicare Compare website. It does have a five-star rating system. Uh, it will give you some information on whether or not the nursing home has been cited. There are numerous websites you can go to. The Long-Term Community Care Coalition website uh, is an excellent website to go to. And also talk to your friends, talk to other people who have loved ones in these facilities. Ask them about their experience. That's the best way to learn about whether or not the nursing home is treating people well. And John, before we let you go, can you speak on the fraud that's alleged in the lawsuit, um, the using yes. of taxpayer dollars? So again, what the attorney general is doing in this lawsuit is attempting to expose what we've seen for years. And that's uh, related party transactions where the nursing home operators and owners take in money from Medicare and Medicaid and then have private contracts with related ent entities, oftentimes owned by family members and friends. And this could be for food, uh, for the real estate, uh, for any type of service the nursing home needs, overpaying uh, contracts that uh, are totally out of bounds with what uh, should be charged normally. And it's a way really to take the money and skim it off the top and put it in their in their pocket. And that's really what the attorney general is going to be looking at. So they're going to screw, uh, put these contracts under scrutiny, make sure that the money that's being spent is being spent for the benefit of the residents, not for the benefit of the owners. Got it. John, thank you so much. As this plays out, too, we'd love to uh, keep in touch with you. Thank you. Absolutely. Anytime. Have a good weekend. You too.